I'm Kemi Dierking. He called 911 twice, but the help 16-year-old Kyle Plush needed never materialized. Now, as Jeff Hurst tells us, Cincinnati leaders have a 12-month action plan to improve the emergency system. Jeff? Well, in aviation safety, they call it the tombstone imperative. Somebody has to die in a crash before safety rules are changed. The Kyle Plush case is still under investigation, but his tragic saga may turn out to be the tombstone imperative, which helps everyone else who calls 911. We're gonna get together and look at all of our systems, top to bottom. Kyle Plush's father looked on as city leaders spoke of a 12-month plan to improve Cincinnati's emergency communication center. This is sort of an unusual um, realm of local government service delivery where sort of anything short of perfection actually isn't good enough. Kyle died when he was accidentally trapped under the back seat of his minivan at Seven Hills School and suffocated. Kyle called 911 twice but was not rescued. There are still questions about what the 911 call takers actually heard and whether responding police officers had enough information to realize the life or death nature of the situation. A report about the incident will be released Wednesday. Today, the city looked forward, saying the 911 center will hire more staff, add training, upgrade technology, and possibly get an outside evaluation, perhaps end the current 12-hour shifts in favor of shorter workdays, and maybe even merge with Hamilton County's 911 center. You know, I think we've got some solid plans and we really, we really want to make sure that we, we get this place where it needs to be. I think a lot of improvements have been made, but you know, as been discussed, all it takes is, is one tragedy and you know, here we are. You know, perfection is what we always have to go for in this line of work. And that is the key. National standards say 90% of 911 calls should be answered within 10 seconds. But what happens after the call is answered, or even if it can be answered or heard, is just as critical. If we pave roads and, you know, we get one and it's a little bit wrong, or, you know, we mow the lawn in parks and it's a little bit off, um, the stakes are much less high. City Council has already okayed an additional $450,000 to help implement some of the plans outlined today. Back to you. Jeff, thanks very much. Law Committee Chair Chris Smitherman also said today he supports Chief Elliott as or Elliot Isaac rather with the Cincinnati Police as controversy continues over a police overtime audit. The chief tells Local 12 News he appreciates Smitherman's comments but cannot say anything else due to pending litigation.